Now, you've probably just seen this title and you can't believe your eyes. I can't believe I'm sat here reporting that after six holes of the second round of Tiger Woods' return at the Genesis, he has withdrawn due to illness. Now, I'm going to say right now, we're going to keep you up to date with everything we know so far. But I really don't think it's illness. Like, have a look at these images I've got hold of here. This is him being carted off the golf course. He looks in visible pain, discomfort, and it doesn't look like illness to me. Now, let's go through everything we know. I'm literally getting this news as I'm bringing you this video. So, the PJ Tour have tweeted, Tournament host Tiger Woods has withdrawn from the Genesis due to illness. Now, I'm questioning this. I don't want to question it because I want Tiger to be the Tiger we all know and love, the Tiger where we see him on the golf course, because golf is a better place for it. But I'm finding it really hard to believe that it's an illness than something muscular, something skeletal to do with his back. Now, I'm going to tell you exactly why. Other reports from people here on X saying, disappointing, but very good news that it's an illness rather than injury. He'll be back. Now, I don't believe this, and I'll tell you why. Take your mind back to yesterday. The Shank video of Tiger Woods went absolutely viral everywhere, and this is what he said after the round. My back was spasming the last couple of holes and locking up, Wood said, and he told reporters. As far as physical up and downs, that's just part of my body. That's part of what it is, he said. That's all right. I accept it and accept the challenges. A lot of good, a lot of indifferent. It was one or the other. I just find this too much of a coincidence that he's reporting to reporters on the Thursday and then going out on the Friday and withdrawing due to illness. Now, I'm sat here not wanting it to be something with his back, wanting it to be like an illness, a stomach bug, something like that. But I'm finding it hard to believe. So let me just go through what happened and exactly what happened in today's round. Tiger Woods was carted off just after seven holes into his second round at the Genesis Invitational. This is long-awaited return. He launched his clothing earlier this week, the Sunday red clothing. So there was a lot of buzz around him being back in golf. And I just want to say golf is a much better place with him there. It was almost like, though, when I was watching it, he was powering through the tournament. Now, hear me out. So, he started the Friday strong, birdieing the par 5 first, and followed that up with back-to-back -back pars on holes 2 and 3. It was a better start than actually on Thursday, as he birdied the first, but bogeyed the holes 2 and 3 on the first day. Woods actually then began to struggle with what were initially to believe as back issues as he bogeyed the fourth and the fifth holes to fall above the cut line. He looked, what I'm going to say, in visible pain through both of those holes. And this is what I want to say. He looked in visible pain. Now, obviously, if you've got a stomach bug or you've got something like that, you could be in visible pain in sorts of discomfort. But there's just too much of a coincidence. The next thing we see is all these images of him being carted off the golf course looking in total discomfort. And then I see Dan Rappaport put this on X where there is a hospital van outside. An ambulance, I think. That's a better word for it, Alex. There's an ambulance sat outside the Riviera Country Club. This There's an ambulance sat outside the country club at the golf course where they're playing the Genesis. Now, right now, that is all we know, that apparently it is an illness. But all I'm going to say right now, yesterday we had reports of him having discomfort, back locking up. We saw, the, we saw the shang that went viral, and then now he's withdrawing. I really think this puts question marks on his future of playing, and I really think this puts question marks on whether he's going to be at any of the majors this year. Now, I know that might sound premature. I want you to let me know exactly what you think's going on here. This is some seriously worrying times.